This is the Energy Within Podcast, all about accessing, nurturing, and building your energy and confidence so that you can feel comfortable being your true self, embrace your true essence, accept your soul's mission, and start taking action on it. My name is Carrie Jokala. I am your host. I am a Reiki master teacher, a fitness instructor, a wife, a mom to two little boys, and this is episode 130. I can't believe we're at 130 already. I feel like we just reached 100, and even that was amazing. (laughs) So if you've been here the whole time, I am so grateful. If you're new, I am so grateful that you found this podcast. I've been getting a lot more, I guess you would say random feedback, as in I'm not going searching for it. People are just talking to me and telling me that they're listening to the podcast. They're sharing it with friends. And I am so amazed and blown away by that. Even though I've been doing this for so long, it's still, I'm so grateful anytime I get any feedback on the podcast. So thank you. I always appreciate hearing how you've enjoyed certain episodes, how they've helped you. And also, of course, when you share it. So before we get into this one, if you enjoy this one or any other episode, please feel free to share it. Send it to someone who you know would love to listen to it or needs to hear it. Share it to your social media. Tag me. You can do a screenshot. You can do a screen recording and grab some audio, whatever you feel called to do. I love finding out when the podcast has been shared. So thank you. Also, another quick little thing to remind you about, which is not a big deal. It's just fun (laughs) to see the numbers grow. The podcast has been growing pretty much exponentially in comparison to the last couple of years, honestly, in this last month, it's been going really, really well. And it's just fun to see the numbers. So what helps the numbers, in addition to sharing it to reach more people, is when you actually download the episode. So whatever app you're listening to this on, if there's a button that you see to download the episode, first of all, that saves your data. So you're not using your data on a constant roll while you're listening. But it also is, I believe, my understanding is the only way that it adds to the download numbers that I get to see. (laughs) So for a more accurate representation of what the download numbers are, it helps if you download the episode. But if you don't want to do that, that's cool. I don't know where it goes, like if it gets saved, like in part of your phone or not. I think it just gets downloaded within the app. And then I know in... Apple Music, I've seen that it'll eventually, I think, disappear on its own after you've downloaded downloaded it and listened to it, unless you save it. So that's a separate step. Downloading and saving, I believe, are two different steps. So that's all I'm going to go on about as far as the technical side of things, because I am not techie at all. (laughs) But just to throw that out there. So we are continuing. It is still March. And I actually didn't realize when I started this month with the meditations that there are five Wednesdays (laughs) in March. So you're going to get five meditations. And I'm still promising that I'm going to give you all of these meditations that are coming this month and have been out this month as a download on my website where you can go in and it'll just be the meditation. So you won't have to skip ahead any of my talking and yammering like I'm doing right now. It'll go right to the start and end at the end of the meditation. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is waiting until they're all done and then collecting them. I'm going to put them all on one page where all you have to do is go in once I set this up. So it'll be a couple weeks, but you'll just have to go in, put in your name and email, and then you'll get an email back from me that sends you to the page where you can choose one or all of these meditations in just meditation form. So stay tuned for that. As soon as that's up, I will have the links available. And today we're going through a confidence meditation. So I've known for a long time, since even before I started Reiki, that teaching confidence, for lack of a better way of putting it, (laughs) is something that 
I'm meant to do because it's been a big part of my own personal journey, having come from basically no confidence to basically, I don't want to act like I have it all figured out because I don't, but basically figuring it out (laughs) to get to a point where I'm comfortable being myself in the majority of situations. I'm totally okay with the fact that I'm a weirdo. I'm a little bit different. (laughs) I'm a goofball. And I've learned to not care and not in a conceited way. So if we go all the way back to episode one of this podcast when it was Rockstar Confidence and we talked about what is true confidence, the through line has always been that true confidence is quiet, it's calm, it doesn't need recognition. It's not necessarily the person who walks in the room and basically announces themselves and needs everybody to look at them and know that they're there and know how awesome they are. Because maybe not always, I don't want to speak for other people, but I find that in most situations, the people who do that, and I've been that person too, (laughs) the people who do that are actually still dealing with some level of confidence issues. And they need that recognition to boost themselves back up. But there's also a difference there too between maybe that person just is that confident and that's just how they are and that's totally fine. But if you can sense a little bit of conceitedness in there, that's when those issues are still underlying. So it's not the person who's basically a jerk that you would label as confidence because that's how they come off. If you really look... The reason they're being a jerk is because they don't want you to find out that they're actually not confident. So they need to make you feel less than so that you're not on the same level and therefore not able to figure out that they've got issues. (laughs) So if you can picture that person who you label as confident and it's someone who you are so comfortable being around, you feel comfortable being yourself because you know they're not judging you. They want you to feel comfortable and to be yourself. And they're not going to make you feel bad. They're not going to make fun of you. They're not going to judge you. That is a truly confident person. They make everyone around them feel comfortable to be themselves and to basically inspire them to a higher level of confidence themselves because they're not trying. They're not forcing it. They just are. (laughs) So it's basically a way of being. You just kind of relax into that energy. You don't necessarily step up into it. It's not even stepping up into confidence, I feel. When you're getting into the true confidence, you almost take a step back and take a breath and relax. And there's no more stress of having to pretend anything or having to act a certain way. There's no worry about being an imposter, being found out. You're just yourself. And it's a fluid journey. There's no final level that you're going to reach. Maybe a few people will, but the majority of us, there's no final level. And it's up and down. I still have plenty of times when I am not confident, when I'm nervous, I'm scared, when I do maybe feel like an imposter. It just doesn't happen as often since I've begun this journey and since I can recognize when I'm feeling like that and it's easier to catch myself and turn it around. And in case you haven't heard any of that talk from me before, a quick interjection that I'm not at all saying to ever pretend that you don't feel a certain way, to act like it's not happening, to shove it down and flip a switch and be like, okay, I'm confident now. No, it's okay to not feel confident. It's okay to feel scared. It's okay to have imposter syndrome. You need to process it and work through it. It's just that that process gets quicker and easier when you're able to start recognizing it and you know how to turn it around for yourself. So today's meditation is designed to help you start stepping back. I almost said step into Stepping back into that calm, easy confidence where you can be yourself. That's really where I think a lot of this journey is headed for me and how I combine 
energy work with my bigger mission of helping people to heal their confidence. There you go. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm also just, as I record this, fresh off a shamanic healing journey with my soul sister, Jess, who was on this podcast a while ago. So let's just say you should check her out for that because I don't do shamanic healing. Maybe I will one day. I have no idea. But she does. And it was amazing. And I'm still buzzing. And there was so much that happened and so much to process and so many for lack of a better word, weird synchronicities <laughs> that came up, including this fairy wand, which I just posted on my stories. By the time this is up, you won't see that original story. If I remember, I'll share it again. But this wand was like gifted to me in the journey. And I knew exactly what she was talking about. It's a wand that I actually have and I've had since I was a teenager but ever since I've moved out of my parents, it's been in a bin because we've never fully settled into a home, <laughs> which is a completely separate story. But it's been packed away. And I had this fleeting thought before we began the journey, before we talked about any of that, that maybe I should go get that. But I didn't because I'm like, I wanted to get started with the journey. And then it was gifted to me. So I went and I got it and I have it out now. So... I'm not going to go into all the details of that because that's not what this episode is about. So I'm going to stop. But if you have questions, I'm happy to talk to you about it. I'm sure Jess would love to talk to you about it because that's one of the things that she does. So I'll put her information in the show notes if you want to reach out to her for that. But anyway, I'm really stepping back into embracing more of my weird self. Not that I ever wasn't, but it just wasn't quite as infused into all of this with the Reiki and all of the energy healing as much as I feel like it's supposed to be until I started doing the Instagram reels <laughs> and using that as a way to fuse the two together. And now I'm really seeing that this is how finding your confidence is supposed to be a part of all of this. I don't know if I'm making any sense. So <laughs> I'll try to stop rambling and get to the meditation that you're here for because I've been talking for a while now. So we're going to take a step back, help you relax, settle into yourself and dig out that confidence that's in there. It's in there. You've just buried it underneath some negative thinking. So we're going to remove that. So find a comfortable position and we'll get started. So get comfortable, start by closing your eyes and take a few slow, deep breaths at your own pace. We're going to scan the body looking for areas of tension. If there's any area that needs more focus, you can stay there as long as you need or go back there at any point. But you're going to squeeze, release, or take some deep breaths, maybe move a little bit, whatever you feel called to do at each area to release the tension. So we're going to start at your toes. You can wiggle the toes. You can rotate your ankles. Moving up through the calves. Letting go of your kneecaps. Relaxing your thighs quads and hamstrings. Moving up into the hips. Maybe you do some twists or some rotating. Up into the lower back and the abdomen. Up 
upper back and chest. Into your shoulders. Down through the arms, all the way past the wrists, into the fingertips. Maybe you're rotating your wrists, clenching and releasing your fists. Moving back up through the arms, into the neck. Moving up into the head, relaxing your jaw. Releasing your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Letting go of your cheeks, ears, forehead, and the top of your head. We're going to start by focusing on your solar plexus chakra, which is right above the belly button. And you're going to look inward. And we see a whole bunch of dirt covering that chakra. The color of the solar plexus is yellow, so maybe we see a few cracks of some yellow light shining through that dirt, but it's buried. It can't shine as brightly as it's supposed to. Look a little closer at the dirt. These little bits of dirt are all the negative thoughts you've ever had about yourself. Whether they've come directly from you or from somebody else. It's normal. We've all integrated these thoughts and started to make them a part of our identity, which is why they're here covering up your solar plexus, preventing it from shining at full strength. So we're going to call in your higher self. So picture your higher self forming in front of you now. There's no right or wrong answer. Now your higher self is going to get very small and fly inside of you, landing on top of that dirt. And your higher self, and maybe you're going to come in and help, but your higher self is starting to shovel away all of this dirt, removing all of these negative thoughts. The dirt is being thrown back down to the earth where it belongs, where it's going to be recycled and transmuted. So these negative thoughts are not going to harm anybody else. They're not going to anybody else. They're being transmuted in the earth, just back into energy. And that energy is going to go where it's needed to be used how it's needed and that part's no longer up to you I'm going to give you a few minutes here and allow your higher self and you some time 
to remove these negative thoughts. As the dirt is being shoveled away, you'll see your solar plexus shining brighter and brighter. Not because your solar plexus has been changed, but now there's nothing covering it. So it can glow bright, bright yellow and start to shine all the way outside of you. And let the light stretch as far as it feels like it's supposed to right now. And you're going to get some Reiki energy. All you need to do is receive. We've opened up space by removing the dirt with those negative thoughts. So now we need to fill it back up. The Reiki is beginning. spinning inside your solar plexus as if your solar plexus is the sun you are meant to shine God wants you to stop covering it up Stop playing small. Stop worrying what other people think. At the core of it all, you are perfect. There are no imperfections. There are no flaws. You're just you. Exactly how you're meant to be right now. That doesn't mean that you can't change. It doesn't mean that you can't grow. are meant to be more, but you're also meant to trust in divine perfect timing. So forgive yourself because you don't need to feel bad for having played small, for having had negative thoughts, for having dimmed your light. you weren't wrong you were meant to learn a lesson and everything happens for a reason
But now you're here listening to this meditation because it's time. Those negative thoughts are gone. And you're going to keep shining. Go and do what you know you're meant to do. When you're ready, you can start to come back, take your time, and open your eyes. Well, that was crazy. I wasn't expecting any of that. I had no intention of doing Reiki through the meditation prior to beginning it. (laughs) It's just that once we got to that point, I knew we needed to fill you back up. And I thought that maybe I was going to guide you through some positive thinking, some affirmations like we've done in the past meditations to fill that space back up. And the message I got was to send you Reiki. So there you go. (laughs) I also didn't know that we were going to do the whole dirt thing until it came out of my mouth. So that happened for a reason. (laughs) So I knew that going into it, but I mean like when I first... So before we started the meditation and I was talking about the dirt, it hit me immediately that that was supposed to be how we did this meditation. Because honestly, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. I was just going to let it happen. Usually I look up some other meditations that exist out there just as a reference point to see if there's anything that I like in there that feels like it's meant to be integrated into what I give you. And this being a confidence meditation, I thought we were going to do some affirmations and it just never happened because that's not what was supposed to happen. We had some work to do. (laughs) that was going deeper than just meditations. So I hope that you enjoyed that one. I hope you found it helpful. If you did like it, please share it, whether it's sending it to someone or posting it on your social media. If you do post on social media, please be sure to tag me and let me know what your favorite part was. So I am, of course, inviting you to come and do a Reiki session with me. I have two options now. Two, if you're local. So for anybody anywhere, there's always the virtual sessions over Zoom, which are always amazingly powerful and just as effective as being in person. But that said, if you're local, I do have a space that we can use for in-person sessions now. In-person is going to be slightly higher in price just because of the extra travel and everything involved in getting to a space versus just going into another part of my house. (laughs) And also just a little caveat for those of you who are local, if you are considering, hopefully this doesn't shy you away. I just want to be completely honest about the fact that it's downtown Milwaukee. So traffic and potentially parking could be a bit of a pain. (laughs) So just keep that in mind. I would love to do some in-person sessions. So if that does not scare you away and you are totally cool with that, send me a message because as of right now, I don't yet have a page set up because I still need to just take a look. I think I know what the availability is. I just want to double check before I post anything for people to just go and schedule. So for right now, if you're interested in an in-person session, please send me a message. You can either email me or message me on Facebook or Instagram. If you want to do a virtual session, you can go right on the website, find the link in the show notes, and you can book right away. You get access right away to the calendar before you even pay for the session so you can see what's available. I will also very, very shortly be officially offering the Akashic Records sessions. I plan on doing a video in my Facebook group, The Energy Within, which I also invite you to join if you're not already in there. 
I'm going to do a video in there pretty soon explaining a little bit more about what the records are, why you would want to do an Akashic Records session, and the various things that we can do inside the records. So we can do that anytime before I officially get a page up if it's something you know that you're interested in. So if you have questions or you want to do one of those sessions, again, just send me a message for now. And then once the page is up, I will let you know. I'll also just be popping in randomly when I have time in the group. So that video will live in the group. So when you're wanting more information besides just reaching out to me in a message, you'll have that video as a reference that'll live in the group. So I'm so excited to hear your feedback on this meditation. So please let me know. Make sure that you're in the Energy Within group. I recently jumped in again and did some group Reiki and some card pulls and it was so fun. So hop in so that you're able to experience that whenever I'm able to jump in. And also make sure you're following me on Instagram and helping me bust the algorithm <laughs> and go like and share my reels. I would deeply, deeply appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. <laughs>